Hey guys, today is Thursday, March 23rd, I want to say. Um, I'm just out here in the greenhouse and I am uh, up potting lupin that I planted from seed. Um, so I was inspired to come on and make a video for you. I'm just listening to some music as I work out here in the greenhouse. So I'll give you a quick look at everything that I'm growing in the greenhouse and I want to talk to you about these lupins in case you're interested in trying to grow them also from seed. So if this is your first time stopping here, my name is Lee. Welcome to our backyard garden. Um, this is the Yardistry greenhouse that we built and purchased through Costco a few months back. And if you go through our playlist and our channel, uh, you'll see that we did several videos about this greenhouse and uh, we're just learning to uh, navigate through this space and learning how to grow things. It's our first time working in a greenhouse, owning a greenhouse and all of that good stuff. So it has its ups and downs and we're, we're learning a lot as we go. So if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to our channel, give this a like, spam us with some hearts, make some comments and interact with us. We, we always love hearing from you guys. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you a few of the things that I'm growing successfully and a few of the things that don't look so good at all. So right now it's, it's quite cool out. It's in the 50s outside and it's been rainy all day. So you can see it's almost 70 um, up here, um, about three quarters of the way up. But if you come down to floor level, you'll see that it's barely 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm keeping things growing on the floor that like cool weather, like uh, Brussels sprouts, uh, cauliflower, broccoli. Um, over here I have some calendula, some kale, mizuna. Uh, in this little reused container I have radicchio. Uh, over here is more radicchio. I have clancy potatoes that I grew from seed. Um, some celery. These are some lettuces and some more kale. And then this is the first time that I'm trying carrots inside of a grow bag that we bought from Amazon. Now, uh, over here, I have a tray of snapdragons that I started on my kitchen table and I had pretty good germination rate with them. They've been out here in the greenhouse for a few days, but I'll tell you things dry out very, very rapidly. Uh, example, this tray of Vinca uh, did not do very well, so I'm gonna have to try again with that. Um, this is a tray of pansies that had mostly successful germination. Uh, that I've decided to bring out here um, and it's hanging on you know pansies like cooler weather and they like uh, somewhat shady conditions so it seems to be suffering a little bit so I think I'm going to up pot this and bring this outside um, and hope that they'll do better outside um, so anyway today I'm also up potting more of my tomatoes that I started on my kitchen windowsill and um, you know, I can't really leave tomatoes out here yet because it just gets so darn hot. Now, up here I have a tray of lettuce that I started on my kitchen table and it was just outside in the pouring rain. I wanted it to get a good nitrogen filled drink without actually giving it fertilizer. Yeah, so it's definitely past time for that lettuce uh, to be in its trays. We don't have our raised beds ready yet. We're supposed to order a big uh, load of uh, soil from the, um, from the landscaping yard. Uh, but the weather's been either too cold or it's been too wet, and John's going to have to probably schedule a vacation day because they're not delivering on Saturdays yet. And in turn, we have fallen behind and we need to get these things going. So we're also hoping to clear out the green stalk um, and take our strawberries out of there and put the strawberries in raised beds and then have the green stalk for lettuce. But anyway, I, start, I brought you guys in here to talk about lupins. So let's talk about lupins instead. Yeah, so I've been talking about all of these beautiful uh, herbaceous borders and uh, beautiful gardens in the UK that I'm absolutely fascinated with and I think they're so incredible. And that was where I first, where lupins, blue lupins in particular, really caught my eye and just wooed me to a place where I decided that I had to grow them. So a few months back I was shopping in our local Whole Foods store called Sprouts um, and they have botanical interest on a turnstile uh, type cart in store. And that was when I saw 
this beautiful lupin. So it is called the Sundial Lupin Blue Bonnet, and it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful blue flowers that are true blue. And I'm hoping, because in this picture they look more purple, but um, supposedly this is known uh, for so much blue is what they're saying. This is the value of the lupin, ideal for wildflower gardens. Loves Butterflies love it. Um, and I'm sure the bees do. And I thought, okay, how complicated could this be? So I consulted with my friend um, who grows flowers in the UK. I'm so blessed to say I actually have friends that I met through social media in the UK that I can reach out to. And on Instagram, his name is uh, Garden Master 101. So if you want to check him out on Instagram and give him a like, he is not a YouTuber. Um, but he is really a master grower. He has a, a lovely greenhouse. He um, grows all sorts of flowers and donates the money for uh, breast cancer research. So he's just a really wonderful guy. But anyway, I reached out to him and I said, hey, I'm going to grow lupins for the very first time. What do I need to do? So he explained to me that um, lupins, get, lupins get a very long taproot and that uh, I should start them in a biodegradable pot and wait for them to get their true leaves before I up-pot them and not to mess with their taproot very often. So there was a little more to the conversation, but anyway, I took his word for it. Um, I did go ahead and um, I put them in these little tiny, re oh, I disappeared there, <laughs> these little reusable, uh, biodegradable pots that I got at the dollar store in another haul. These actually work better than the square burpee pots that I bought from Tractor Supply. So um, I'm going to try these again at some point. Um, but yeah, so I went ahead and I mixed my own soil and I planted them in there. Uh, I, I'll, I'll insert the date on the screen here because I'll have to go in and get it for you. But anyway, they germinated very, very quickly uh, in the kitchen window and they became these beautiful little flowers. And today I'm putting them into an up, uh, a, a bigger pot uh, before they'll go into the ground. So let me turn this camera around and show you how beautifully these guys grew and what they look like as they pop out um, of the biodegradable pot. And by the way, you guys, I have mentioned about going to visit my friend Garden Master 101 on Instagram. If you could also visit me on Instagram, that would be great. Uh, for whatever reason, Instagram does not want to push our channel out into the algorithm. But if you're on Instagram and you want to check us out, we are our backyard.garden. And you'll see, of course, a picture of me sitting there with my braid. Um, and we don't have a whole lot of activity and we uh, quite frankly don't have a whole lot of followers because I'm really not trying to push a product out there. We're trying to help people to learn to grow. But um, anyway, if you could come check us out on Instagram also, that would be great. So here I'm just putting them inside of some, you know, some old pots that I've saved. Um, and look at how gorgeous they are though. I mean, they are doing really, really, really well. Um, so here are the ones that I started right inside of this little cell here and they get these beautiful leaves and you can see that the roots are just coming right out of the pot and the, the pot is staying intact but since it started reaching out like this I said okay these little guys really need oh look at that one yeah that's got a really amazing tap root on it so we're getting these guys up potted today and uh, soon they'll be getting ready to go outside probably within the next month or so but I want to make sure they get a secondary root system uh, inside of the next pot before I actually bring them outside. Now another way that I did this was inside of this six pack honey mango package that I thought let me just give this a try and see how they do and you can see inside what their taproot looks like. Now these containers already have holes in the bottom so they're able to suck up the water very very good and the thing I liked about it was I was able to close this top lid onto the lupins um, to make a little dome for them and you can see that they did really well in this container also. So I have to remove them very carefully because they say you should not squeeze the roots 
or tamper with the roots very much as you get them into their next pot. So that's, uh, I'm so afraid I'm gonna drop it here. There's another view of the roots. And um, yeah, so I think they're doing really, really well. And I'm really looking forward to these guys becoming big, beautiful blue flowers. So I have to tell you, I am just so inspired by these flowers, these blue flowers. I can't wait to have the garden filled with blue flowers this year. And um, I have another variety of lupin bare root that uh, I have to get out of the garage. We bought that at Tractor Supply. And then I have another packet of seed that I'm going to go ahead and do again because I just can't get enough of this. Um, and I'm going to start over again with seedlings and go through the whole process. I'll be doing that this week. So um, stay tuned for more looping coverage and um, everything else. I mean, we're starting to blow up here. Um, I think I'm going to do another tour of the greenhouse in here for you so you can get a better idea of what the ups and downs are of this space because as I work out here, um, I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot of things. So, um, but anyway, I could ramble on about everything that's happening in here, you guys, but I just wanted to focus on those lupins with you anyway. So anyway, you guys, give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and you want to hear more about my lupins. I'll see you in the next video.